Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praise unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. And this is a clip from Heroes Reborn Season 1, Episode 12. And basically, this whole program is an allegory for the New World Order. you got a secretive company who knows that there's a calamity coming which is going to cause a great depopulation on the earth, which they're actually, they want it to happen. And basically, they're preparing a new world for the, the survivors who they choose to um, inhabit in the future, where they're basically in complete control and everyone's chipped. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's what's going down in this program, man. It's crazy, you know. And they've shown all kind of, they've shown that uh, martial law chipping people for security reasons and all that. Now they're about to show that the only way you can get um, the, the wristwatch, which is going to allow you to be transported to the future, in their so-called utopia that they've got in the future, the new world order, is if you get chipped. And they're going to show you that right here with this guy. He's trying to infiltrate. And basically to infiltrate, he had to get chipped. He had to be, he ended up being on the list for whatever reason. And he had to get chipped, man. And he was surprised. Okay, so he, you know, if that happened to you in real life, that's your ass, man. But hey, let's, um, let's check the clip out. Welcome, Welcome to Gateway Pioneers. Pioneers. Please proceed to the next the Excuse me. What? Sir, over here, please. What's your name? Uh... Thank you, Mr. Shimasawa. You'll need to register in order to get your watch. That's your ID chip. Welcome to Gateway. So you see what happened there, you know, you have to take the chip. You know what I'm saying? And, um... That's that's what the deal is, man. That's the time that the time's gonna come that that's the state they're gonna say. Even basically, if you take the chip, or you're gonna be deemed a, a enemy, a threat to the to to the state. All right. Now, it's funny because in this they showed you a quick way for them to administer the chip with some kind of device. And I was speaking to a brother about that the other day, and I was saying they must have mass chipping uh, machines or a device that inputs the chip quicker. Than an actual human being pulling out a syringe and wiping down your hand and not, uh, to me uh, it doesn't I don't I don't see Esau being Esau really doing it like that I could see him using some form of technology to administer the chip quick especially where you uh, you're gonna have a lot of people having to be chipped at the same time you know Esau likes to do things efficiently man and I I tried to look up a patent but I, mean, I couldn't find no patents you know because obviously. They're probably hiding it under some fancy name that I'm too layman to be able to figure out. But you, they, you know, either way, they're going to be chipping the people, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all. Okay, so he, everyone's going to be chipped. Hey, some people that get chipped, they're going to be chipped just to be killed, to, to be rounded up and at an opportune moment to be put to death. And he calls it all, both small and great. Meaning small representing those of you who lack honor, position, and authority within the society. It's great represents those of you with um, uh, influence, um, position, honor within the society. Rich and poor, those with money, which is uh, you know a small amount, and those without money, which is a lot. Free and bond, those of you who are at liberty to walk around within the confines of the plantation. You have that privilege, not right, that privilege. And bond, those of you who have had your privileges removed and you're in the jail cell, okay, to receive a mark in their right hand, mark being karagma, a thing inserted, which you see something was inserted and carved into his hand because you heard him go out, <laughs> okay, uh, or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, buying and selling meaning what? Transactions. Buying and selling is a transaction, man, and pretty much everything you do in this society is a transaction. Him trying to get past that checkpoint was a transaction. That's why they did what? They scanned your hand. Okay? 
that's a that's a um data process that's a transaction that you're making transactions don't just have to be money you understand what i'm saying when you go when you go and you take a book back to a library even though you're not paying money when they scan the book and then you give them the book back that's a transaction okay it's all transactions man you ain't gonna be able to make any transactions in the society without that mark you ain't gonna be able to be involved in this man's system the state you ain't gonna get able to get food from the state you ain't gonna be able to get security from the state you ain't gonna be able to get nothing from the state or within to use any infrastructure or anything that the state owns which is basically be everything because the state is going to confiscate everything there's not going to be any private property even though there really is no private property right now okay to utilize even water man you're going to have to um have that chip because everything's going to be allocated save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name because if you if you don't get chipped you're going to be deemed a terrorist you're going to be deemed enemy of the state man an enemy combatant and you're going to be dealt with as such okay so hey don't take the chip man you have to resist unto death okay because they ain't, you know they ain't gonna succeed they can't destroy the the, the all the elect period you know what i'm saying so with that i'm gonna say shalom